Eric Erickson was a psychologist who created the eight stages of psychosocial development. This is one of the most popular and influential theories, and its stages can be applied to both organizations as well as humans. Organizational culture, however, is often still lagging at the infant stage right at the bottom, labeled trust versus mistrust. The problem with this is that research consistently points to organizational cultures that are defined by high levels of trust and focused on information flow as predictive of good software delivery. The idea that a good culture optimizes information flow is not a new one. It is founded in the research conducted by sociologist Dr. Ron Westrom. Westrom provides three types of organizational culture which account for how information is processed. These are pathological, bureaucratic and generative. The first, pathological, are cultures that are power-oriented. Noticeably defined by a lack of cooperation, responsibilities are often shirked and scapegoating often occurs in the face of failure. Bureaucratic cultures reveal a modest level of cooperation, narrow responsibility levels and when failures occur, justice is resorted to. A generative culture will tend to make the best use of its assets, a pathological one will not. These cultures display the highest level of cooperation between teams and individuals. Risks are shared and failures lead to inquiries. Addressing the six aspects that define culture can lead to dramatic changes. Changing the way people work changes culture. Consider the levels of cooperation, risk treatment and response to failure where you work. Which type of organizational culture do you think your business falls into? Both Ericsson's stages of psychosocial development and Westrom's organizational typology can be used to drive conversations about the current state and target state of organizational culture.